Okay. Okay. So, how do I introduce you? Yeah. However you would like. Okay. Do you have any specific titles or? Well, I call myself an energy mechanic, but that's just because I really don't have a definition. I try not to define myself because if I define myself, then that's who I have to be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> All right. And what do I use for uh, a business name that we're going to promote for you? Every Advantage Ag. Every Advantage Ag. Mm. Okay. Cool. I think we're good to go then. All right. All right. Welcome, everybody. This is Brian Besco. I'm here today with Marty Lucas from Every Advantage Ag. Uh, Marty is the one who uh, was was responsible for getting this uh, galactic cubit to me, so I'm really happy to be here hanging out with Marty today. Welcome, Marty. Well, thank you, Brian. And and where I'd like to take full credit for the, for the cubit, I do have to share it with uh, uh, a friend of mine who helped me uh, uh, work on it as well. Uh, Scott Earl has really done some phenomenal things, and we collaborate on a number of different projects. Wonderful. Yep. Um, so Scott Earl, Ertl, he makes the, uh, the Ertilizer. Yes, he is. He is an expert in geopathic stress and stray voltage and uh, a lot of the work that I do with, with agriculture and a lot of the work that he does overlaps so we work together um, fairly often now all right all right well um, I was trying to think of how long it's been since uh, since we met now I, I don't have a clue where we met at I believe it was at some radionics symposium or something of that nature I think it was we'd uh, we'd certainly talked before and uh, you know, I'd used some of your products and, and bought some of the different rings. But the first time we met, I think it's just been, what, two years ago, three years ago? Yeah, because, um, let's see, I believe that the, the Galactic Cubit, let's see, did that one come in in 2012, I believe? <sighs> Boy, time flies. Oh, it does. Uh, but, yeah. but that was an inter interesting story. Um, there, was a, there was a gal who called me up, and uh, she's like, well, these two guys came to our, our little gathering and they had this specific measurement and they were making this big long wire and we were jumping through it and we were doing all these fun things with and do you want that measurement and I was like well yeah I do and they're like oh well it's the galactic the, the galactic measure so um, I put that together in a ring and you called me up two weeks later and said hey I got this measurement for you <laughs> I was like wow synchronicities well we were we were playing around at the at the uh, uh, what was, they call it the angel gathering, and I knew what the length of the wire should be, and I brought in probably, oh, maybe 50 or 100 foot of wire, and so we laid this ring out on the floor and then tested it to see which way it was better, uh, laying on one side or laying on the other or standing up, and so we spent the whole day just having loads of fun with this massive, massive ring. <laughs> well, and then once we put it into the actual tensor ring, um, it became something very special because it uh, it was doing the connecting of the consciousness unlike all the other rings before it. And then then the etheric template, it was able to house the etheric template of the ascension ring. So now we, we came together and we've created the galactic ascension ring. And, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's been really a phenomenal, phenomenal tool. It's what the, uh, the chamber is made out of. Um, and, and anyway, um, I would love for you to tell us a little bit about how you've been using this technology because you've been using this technology for, for quite some time, haven't you? I do. I, I use it personally. Uh, you know, of course, I have the rings, uh, you know, underneath my bed and on my water pipes and, uh, you know, around my electric meter and, you know, around my water. I just, I, I use them everywhere. Um, but where I got started using them was with my radionics equipment and the instruments in my lab. Um, the way the ring establishes a field around it uh, allows it to block out other energies and other frequencies that would interfere with the work I'm doing with my radionics. Uh, and so I started putting just the rings right around the, the instrument themselves and using them as a shield. What I found was that not only did it act as a phenomenal shield to help keep the stray energy from entering and the stray information, but it also helped to connect the instrument much more strongly and firmly. So when I put the rings around the instrument, my balance times went down, 
so I could do more work, my accuracy went up. And just as the ring works with individuals, it also seems to work with the projects. And so I was getting those same connections, the galactic connections, you know, the spiritual connections and those other connections. And so now I've got rings around all my instruments in my lab as well. Now, I've heard that that kind of makes an etheric ground with the radionics equipment. Is that how you see it? Or? That's the way I see it. So we've got this toroidal energy field that is centered on the ring and goes all the way up to, who knows, source, goes all the way down to basically the center of the earth. And for those that have practiced radionics, one of the things that's very critical is to have the instrument grounded properly so you have those connections. By having the rings and using the other instruments, we establish that energetic ground. Uh, and so again, that improves our, our balancing time, improves our accuracy. Wow, oh, all right. So. So do you, you use uh, radionics in, your, in, in the agriculture industry then? I do. I uh, do a lot of work uh, uh, balancing with uh, crops, livestock, and soils. Uh, and again, it, it's all energy and information. And the ring brings me uh, additional energy and also helps bring me the information that I need to help balance those projects. Very interesting. Um, yeah, you know it's it's been it's been a pleasure working with Marty because um, I, I think we're going to eventually start creating some new workshops because uh, I tell you Marty can take things totally out of the box and uh, show you some really phenomenal new ways to to work with and deal with energy and so you call yourself an energy mechanic. Don't I do, you? I do. Uh, I, I've looked at all the different titles that I, that I could have called myself and by, by labeling myself an energy mechanic it really doesn't have any meaning and so it doesn't define who I am and it doesn't confine me to any definition. Yes, uh, n no limiting beliefs here with Marty. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, anything else you'd like to talk about with the rings or with any of the work that you do? Well, the one thing that I found with the rings is that I don't want people to get them and, and keep them separate as something special and something separate. Use them like you would any other tool in your, you know, in your workshop, in your, in your home or your kitchen. And just, and just expect it to do what you want it to do and use it. Uh, when I go to get a, uh, uh, a chiropractic adjustment treatment, I always make sure I have the rings there because it really helps the chiropractor to work better because now my energy field is more coherent. Wow. Uh, when I go for a massage, absolutely the same thing. The other thing that it does is by raising my energy and getting my energy field coherent when I go in for that massage, not only does that help the person who's doing the work, but it also protects me from any of her stuff. Sure, sure. <laughs> so I don't, you know, I don't leave there with any, you know, energy attachments or any issues, you know, and so it makes it better for me, makes it easier for me, and it's that easy. Wow. Fantastic tools. Yes. Uh, I, I really appreciate the way you're using them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I appreciate that they're available because it's, uh, it makes my job so much easier. Thank you very much, Marty Lucas. I appreciate uh, you being here and, and sharing some of your stuff with us. And, um, yeah, I look forward to, to seeing you, you know, in a teaching position to, you know, help facilitate others in their learning because, you know, like you've been talking about how we all have these different pieces and when we can all come together and, and uh, share all of our pieces of the things that we're doing, um, so I, I do look forward to, to being in some of your workshops and maybe co-creating some workshops with you. So Outstanding. I look forward to that as well. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, guys.